Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 109 of the show with no name. I'm your humble host, Nick, and today we're going to be exploring this beautiful old cemetery out here in Hatillo, Puerto Rico. This cemetery goes by the name of the Cementerio Municipal Vieco Santa Rosa. Let's get into this. I'm going to start this episode off today doing what I usually do and just showcasing some of the pieces out here that really caught my attention. Like this statue right here. I've never seen one like it before or since. It seems to be unique to this cemetery. There was a lot of things I liked about this cemetery out here. One of them being is a lot of the headstones out here were really old. And you'll notice that more and more as we walk through this cemetery. That there's a lot of really old stuff here. As you guys know, I love these old statues of Mary and baby Jesus here. It reminds me so much of Christopher Columbus and the Queen of Spain. I don't really know what the connection is there with these Catholic cemeteries out here on the island and it's something I'm still trying to get down to the bottom of to this day. There were so many amazing pieces of artwork out here in this cemetery. And as you can see, it's right on the edge of town here in Hatillo. And it's just vibrant with life being so close to everything. You can hear the cars driving and honking and people's music. And you can just really get a feel for the area, even being in this cemetery. These are some of the really old graves that I was talking about in the beginning of the episode. And they really caught my attention right away when I was walking around in this cemetery. I couldn't tell who was buried here because everything so wore out. But you can tell they're just, they're very old. And they've been here getting beat up by the weather for a long time. But they truly are something special. And it was incredible to actually see them in person. The videos that I took just doesn't do it justice. How incredible this cemetery was. It was nearing springtime on the island of Puerto Rico when I made it to this cemetery. And I was pretty glad that I came during this time of year because it was really sunny out and it just made everything come to life here in the cemetery. This is the front entrance to the cemetery here. As you can see the sign. I'm gonna spend a few minutes now talking about a woman who was born in Hatillo, Puerto Rico. And her name was Garcia Peraza. She was raised by her parents, both belonging to wealthy Catholic families that had immigrated to Puerto Rico from the Canary Islands in the 1830s. Her father had previously married one of his cousins of the prominent Garcia family of the Arcibo Puerto Rico region 
well-known Puerto Rican writer Rene Marquez Garcia is one of her nephews. After divorcing his cousin, her father married Garcia Peraza's mother from another Canarian family. When her family moved to their townhouse in Arcibo, Garcia Peraza became extremely ill. She made a promise to God that if she was cured, that she would always serve him. Garcia considered it a miracle that she was cured of her illness, and she decided to keep her promise. She was one of the first Puerto Rican women to preach religion in Puerto Rico. Soon she became a leader in the church she attended. This, however, made the majority of the male church members feel uncomfortable with her presence. They told her that she was no longer welcome there. After that, Garcia left Roman Catholicism and she joined a Protestant church where she faced similar discriminations. She would then leave that church with 11 other members who followed her to start their own religion. In the year 1940, she and her followers founded their own church in Arcebo. And in 1947, she relocated to the current location of Heto Rey, a suburb of San Juan. They claimed that the Holy Spirit of Life revealed to Garcia the new name of Mita. They started calling themselves Mitas and their religion the Mita Congregation. According to the Mita faith, Mita is the new name of the Holy Ghost on earth and Mita God has chosen a successor before Garcia dies. Under Garcia's leadership, the church founded many small businesses which provided work, orientation, and help for its members. The first branch of the church outside of Puerto Rico was established in New York City. The church has since expanded to Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, the Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Panama, El Salvador, Canada, Ecuador, and even Spain. Garcia would pass away on February 21st, 1970 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico honored Garcia's memory by naming an elementary school after her in San Juan. The house where she lived in Arcibo is on the National Register of Historic Places. I'm going to end this episode today talking about a man whose name was Ismael Aguilar Perez and he was born here in Hatio, Puerto Rico. He served in the U.S. Army during the Korean War. His years of military service were October 12, 1950 to May 8, 1952. After the war, 
he and his family moved to Brooklyn, New York, where he lived and worked for many years. He returned to his beloved island of Puerto Rico in 1977, where he stayed until his death. He was a great lover of music, and he was a fan of Nat King Cole. He was a musician, a singer, an artist, a father, a brother, and a friend. He is buried alongside his parents and younger brother, who died a year and a half later. He passed away on January 31st, 1992. He was 63 years old. I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos of this beautiful cemetery out here in Hatio, Puerto Rico. Thank you.